Hello my good friends and welcome to this One Credit Reviews, a new section of this channel. What we're going to do is we're going to review pieces of tech, all kinds of cool video game stuff and basically anything that you want to see me review. And what we're going to do, what better way to start it than with this. The Buffalo USB gamepad, a staple of this channel. So I thought I'd go into a bit of detail and tell you guys exactly why this thing is so good. This is the Buffalo USB gamepad. It costs £17.29 on Amazon and it is Prime eligible so you can get it free next day delivery if you're a member. And there's a link in the description box if you want to pick one up yourself. Also, getting it from Amazon means you'll benefit from their returns policy. So should something go wrong within the first 12 months, you can go through their channels to get a replacement. Now this USB controller comes with 8 independent fully configurable buttons, an order fire function and is compatible with all modern versions of Windows and also with Android. So if you get one of the many emulators from the Google Play Store and get yourself a USB to USB micro adapter you can use it to play mobile based emulators as well. I have friends who use this controller with the Raspberry Pi which is good to know and also Mac OS X but you will require a driver for that one. This controller is obviously modeled on the iconic SNES pad, and if we see the two of them side by side, we can see just what a good job Buffalo have done. However, the significant area with all these controllers is always the D-pad, and that is one of the single best features of this. If you played Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat in arcades, but mastered them on the home consoles, chances are you learned how to fireball and dragon punch with something like this. The D-pad is both sturdy and responsive at the same time, and it is on the same level as the iconic Super Nintendo controller D-pad, despite having a touch more movement. This controller also comes with an order fire feature and any of the buttons on the controller can be configured independently to feature an auto fire. All you need to do is hold the turbo button down and then press the button you wish to have auto fire. That button will then have auto fire enabled. To undo this all you need to do is repeat the procedure but with the clear button instead of turbo. This is the controller that I use for all of my gaming videos here on One Credit Classics and I honestly wouldn't be without it. It's the single best USB control pad I've ever used and I'd heartily recommend it to anyone. I bought mine in September 2016 before we did Vigilante and I've used it ever since and it's still going strong. I play a lot of video games and I've used a lot of controllers but for all things emulation based this is the benchmark for me. I use it for SNES 9X, NES Topia, Kega Fusion and MAME and all of them allow you to fully customise the buttons to your configuration of choice. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. In short, the Buffalo USB works for everything that you need if you're playing largely emulation stuff. It makes arcade games play like console games but still with that classic arcade kind of sheen. If you want one of these, check out the link in the description box below and get involved. Thanks very much for checking this out. If you've got any ideas of things that you'd like to see, then drop me a line. You know where I am. You can send me a message. You can send me a DM. If you're a company out there and you think to yourself, I wouldn't mind my product getting reviewed on here, then drop me a line on here or in the links in the description box is my email address as well. Send me an email, get in contact, send me some stuff out and I'll review it because I like doing stuff like this. It's a nice change of pace. Until next time, my friends, take care.